Spangler's James Sanders, and I'm from Team Fish First, aka the Dirty Dozen. Six pay leggers and six wild carpers. Hey, see that little button down there on the bottom? Right down there. It says subscribe. Please hit that red little red button here on the YouTube channel where it says subscribe. Here we'll give you lots of great uh, adventures from Team Fish Fighters, and you'll be notified automatically with our great videos. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's Brian Hauser with uh, Team Fish Fighters of Dirty Dozen. We're down here at Westside Bait and Tackle today. We're going to do a quick video on how to mix up some chow. I have a lot of people asking about how um, you can mix it up a couple different ways. So I'm going to do uh, a real quick and easy way. It's about four pounds of chow. You get it here at Westside Bait and Tackle. Um, I'm going to do about half this batch because I'm going to use a little bit of it um, tomorrow. Uh, so I don't want to waste all of it. So I'm going to put in about half this bag in the, in the bucket here. I'm only going to fish for about four or five hours, so that'll get me through through the session. Next thing I like to do, I don't like to use cream corn. I end up catching a lot of catfish usually with cream corn, um, but I like to mix mine with Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew right out of the can. Really don't have a, have a way to tell you how much to put in it. Um, chow is a fuel bait. You just got to feel how dry. If it's a little dry, add a little more. If it's wet, don't add anything to it. Let that chow soak up what you've already added into it. I go by the, it's easier to put more in than take out. So just start a little bit at a time and add as you go. Do about that much to start with. And then just mix. You want to try to get all these little particles in here wet. Always pull from the bottom and turn over. I'm going to add just a little bit more. And obviously if you've got a bigger batch, you're going to want to add a little more each time. But like I said, it's all feel. you got to be careful because if you get it too wet, it's ruined. You start seeing how it's starting to pack a little bit. That's kind of what you want to see there. You'll be able to tell if it's not wet because the particles will be really, really, it'll be, you'll see the different colors in there. Some will be super brown, some will be a little bit dark. You'll notice it more once you start adding your flavor. So today I'm going to use Johnny Juice. It's West Side Grape. It's a really good grape. Smells great. Bleeds off in the water real nice. So I'm going to add probably about a quarter of a bottle to start. I like to add a lot of flavor to my chow. I just hate the smell of chow. Start off with that there. Just pull from the bottom, mix it around. So it's got a nice little red tint to it on a lot of it. So I would probably uh, maybe add just a little bit more for my preference, but it's already starting to pack together. Probably won't break right away, but if you do this at home, and then uh, once you get to the lake, you can always freshen it up with either Mountain Dew or flavor. I always freshen it up with flavor. I like it uh, real strong in the water. So just keep mixing it up. When you're done mixing it, you'll be able to feel it. Start packing in your hand as, you're, as it's getting mixed up. It's a pretty good ball right there. You want to be able, when you pack it, you want to be able to have space a little bit in between the particles. That's where the water gets in and it'll start breaking it down. If it's smoothed over, over, it won't break. Once you get it to where you like it, go ahead and put a lid on it. Let it sit. Once you get to the lake, it'll be different. It'll probably be a little bit uh, more dry because all that fluid and stuff we just put in, that chow will soak it up. So just assess it when you get there. So that's pretty much the quick and easy way to do it. Do chow on the fly. Um, I make it like that all the time on the on the bank. Um, so if you do cream corn, you can add about a half a can of cream corn to two pounds of chow, and uh, it'll do the same thing. Add a little flavor. 
All right, y'all, we definitely appreciate you guys tuning in today. Remember, take good care of your fish when you catch them. Practice great carp care and uh, tie lines, everyone. Hi, I'm Jim Donlin, owner of Westside Bait and Tackle. We are a family-owned and operated business serving Indiana anglers for the past 65 years. We specialize in stocking the best live bait possible. We have minnows, night crawlers, bee moth, crickets, and much, much more. We are also home to one of the area's best selections of rods, reels, lures, and fishing merchandise. We have specialty products for big catfish, crappie, carp, walleye, and bass, plus those hard-to-find items you can't locate elsewhere. So stop on in and see us at 1507 West Vermont Street in downtown Indianapolis or visit us at westsidebaitshop.com.